a Lewis structure. So electron dot notation can also be used to represent molecules. And we talked about that. Um, here it says the pair of dots between the two symbols represent the shared electron pair of the hydrogen-hydrogen covalent bond. For a molecule of F2, the electron dot notation of two fluorine atoms are combined. And that's combined right here. So the pair of dots between the two symbols represents the shared pair of a covalent bond. In addition, each fluorine atom is surrounded by three pairs of electrons that are not shared in bonds. An unshared pair, also called a lone pair, is a pair of electrons that is not involved in bonding and that belongs exclusively to one atom. So here are our rules for creating Lewis structures for covalent compounds. First thing we need to do, we need to add all of our valence electrons together for all the atoms in our compound. Then we're going to draw a molecule using double, single, double, or triple covalent bonds. Usually start off with a single bond and then fill in your lone pairs and check your work. Number three, distribute the electrons in such a way as to satisfy the octet rule. That's when you use your lone pairs. And just, so, just some uh, reminders here, hydrogen can only have two electrons around it. Carbon, if it's present, is always the central atom. And six, hydrogen can never be the central atom because hydrogen can only have two electrons around it. So we're going to do two, we'll do two examples here, three examples. We'll do one with a single, double, and triple bond. So. We'll do one, we will do CH4, methane. So first thing I need to do, I need to count my number of valence electrons. Carbon's in group four, so I'm gonna have four valence electrons here. Hydrogen, I'm gonna have one, but there are four of them, so four. So we're gonna have eight electrons in our structure. So going from there, since carbon's present, it is always my central atom. Now, I have hydrogen. Hydrogen can only have two electrons around it. So, I'm going to have four single bonds around my carbon. And if I count my electrons, remember each single line is two electrons. I'd have two, four, six, eight. So I have eight electrons in my structure. So my structure is complete. Okay, now, say if I had one like CO2, or you know what, let's do another one here. Let's do HI. Hydrogen's one, iodine is seven, so we're gonna have eight electrons total. So we can only have hydrogen connected to iodine with a single bond because hydrogen can only have two electrons around it. So how are we gonna get our structure to eight? We're gonna to have to use three sets of lone pairs. So two, four, six, eight. So eight electrons in our structure. We started with eight. Everything satisfies its octet rule. We're set. Now, if we had one like this, CO2. And we have 16 electrons in CO2. So carbon will be my central atom. And I'm gonna to try to use single bonds here to show you why this doesn't work. So since we only have four electrons around carbon, we need to put two sets of lone pairs. Now, so from here, we go ahead and count our oxygens. So we only have two electrons around our oxygen, so we need to put three sets of lone pairs around these. Now if we count these, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We have 20 electrons in our structure, but we need 16. So that doesn't match. So let's try We'll try one single bond and one double bond. Two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 18 still does not equal 16. So let's try. Two double bonds. So if we did that, remember CO2, 16 valence electrons. Carbon's always our central atom. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So 16 electrons in our structure, 16 electrons we started with, we're finished. Now one more example here, we'll do one with a triple bond. So we'll say HCN. We know hydrogen, one valence electron, carbon has four, nitrogen has five. So we have 10 electrons in our structure. So we know since carbon is present, that's our central atom. Hydrogen can only be singly bonded to carbon. And we're gonna try a triple bond here just to try it and see if it works. So we need 10 electrons in our structure. So we have two, four, six, eight around our carbon. That satisfied carbon's octet rule. We only have six around nitrogen. So we need to put a set of lone pairs around that nitrogen should to give it to 10. And this concludes our video on Lewis structures.